We all know that uh, kidneys are important organs for the body and they're responsible for eliminating waste products to keep our body safe and strong. The problem is if your kidneys get damaged, then the only remedy is either dialysis or kidney transplantation, which can be both difficult, costly, and time-consuming. But here are certain behaviors which we may be guilty of, which we think are okay, but are actually culprits to kidney damage. Let's watch this. So here are some common habits that you might not realize that you're actually doing them that are actually causing harm to your kidneys. Number one, not drinking enough water. For me, this is very important. I can't overemphasize the value of drinking enough water. As I've said in my previous blog, I always advise my patients to drink a minimum of 15 cups per day if men and 11 cups per day if women. Drinking plenty of water is one of the best ways. Staying well hydrated can help your kidneys clear sodium and toxins from the body. And of course, drinking plenty of water is also one of the best ways to allow kidney stones to be excreted without any medications or surgery. Number two on the list, if you're taking too much salt. Now, we all know that Filipinos are salt lovers, but at the same time, we are salt sensitive. Our dish almost always includes high in salt. This includes foods rich in flavoring due to patis and other salt-derived spices that are commercially available. So my advice to you is to limit your salt in your food. If you're used to, let's say, one teaspoon, cut it down to half or one-fourth to make your food taste better because getting used to low salt takes time, approximately a month, for your taste buds to adjust to a healthier level of salt. Number three on the list, which I think a lot of us are very uh, familiar with, would be the overusing of over-the-counter painkillers. Now, especially among our elderly siblings or our parents with arthritis or plain muscle aches, they are fond of painkillers. Since most painkillers are over-the-counter, anybody can easily grab them in shelves and take them anytime. Now, specifically, the painkiller called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. It's okay to take them occasionally, like one or two occasions in a month, but frequent dependence on them can harm the kidneys, especially if you've been taking them daily for the next three to five days. So please be careful with over-the-counter painkillers. Number four on the list is intake of processed foods. We all know that processed foods are typically Mainstays in our menu, especially for breakfast, it's all over the buffet table, ham, um, sausage, chorizos. However, processed foods contain significant sources of sodium and phosphorus. Some studies have shown that high phosphorus actually result in significant kidney damage, specifically those with kidney disease. Therefore, if your doctors have informed you that you have mild kidney problems, better stay off processed foods and look for healthier alternatives. Number five on the list is re eating too much red meat. Now, I say too much. I'm not saying no red meat. It does not mean you can't eat, but please make sure that you eat them occasionally as red meat is an important source of protein and protein intake is essential for needed for growth, upkeep, and repair of all parts of our body. When I speak of limit red meat, meaning it should always be part of a balanced nutrition with fruits and vegetables, as well as white meat in between. We all know that animal protein do generate high amounts of acid in the blood that can be harmful to the kidneys and cause acidosis, a condition in which the kidneys can no longer eliminate acid fast enough. Now, number six on the list, which I'm sure a lot of us are guilty of also, is sleep debt. Now, meaning lack of sleep. Stress is a very important cause why sleep debt puts you at risk for developing diseases. Remember, a good night's rest is extremely important for your overall health 
well-being. One has to remember that the kidney functions 24 hours a day in a cycle non-stop. And apparently this function is regulated by the sleep-wake cycle that helps coordinate the kidney's workload over 24 hours. So a good night's sleep would be very good for your kidneys, which means deep sleep for at least seven hours. Number seven in the list would be bad vices, which includes smoking and alcohol. Remember that people who smoke are more likely to have protein in the urine, which is a sign of kidney damage. And that regular heavy drinking, more than four drinks a day, has been found to double the risk of chronic kidney disease. Therefore, if you smoke and you drink, you are at an even higher risk of developing kidney problems. Such that you have approximately five times the chance of developing chronic kidney disease than people who don't smoke or drink alcohol to excess. Now, in conclusion, all these factors that I have mentioned are really the advices we give to my patients, to everyone, either healthy or with diseases, simply to achieve a goal of an overall healthy lifestyle. Lastly, one very important advice for your kidney's health is to try avoid sitting still all the time. And therefore, I strongly recommend a regular physical activity for at least 150 minutes per week. With that, I want you to enjoy life, do something good for your body, keep yourself healthy, your body deserves it. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Keep your kidneys healthy, stay safe. See you again soon.